Hi guys, Jay here. We got another cool video for you today. So, um, I'm gonna go over how I do it. Again, this isn't the the only way to do this, but I'm gonna go over how I cut all my logs the same length. Now, there's different tools, there's different methods. It's everybody has their preference, but for me, with my woodsheds and how I stack them, numbers add up. So I'll get to that later. But let me show you the two methods of how I cut the two sizes. I cut my firewood at and how I do that. So if you guys want to see how I do that, stick around and hang out. So right here where the echo is, I'm going to explain how I cut all my firewood uh, into the two lengths and why it matters for my woodsheds. So let's get to it. Alright, so... <clears throat> Let's move this. Let's move this. So this is my chainsaw I use. Um, if you've watched prior videos, you already know this, but it's an Echo CS490. Um, Store-bought uh, store saw. You can get them at like Home Depot and whatnot. Um, my wife got it for me for my 25th birthday, and it serves the purpose. This video is not about, you know, why Echo's the best. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not endorsed by them. So this is just what I have. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I measure. So if you look at the saw here, this line or this rib right here, it's actually 24 inches because the saw has a, a 20 inch bar on it, you know, factory bar. And then from obviously from here to here is about four inches. So if I grab the tape, just so you guys can see, so that I hope that shows up on camera, but. It is 24, make sure that's, a, yep, that is 24 inches to this line. Now, why 24 is important is because our wood splitter is a 24 inch county line, uh, 25 ton log splitter, which you can actually see in the background a little bit. Um, so, I'll explain how I use that line in reference to... So if the saw was running and I was getting ready to cut this, um, as you can see my tip here is a little bit over the edge. I want to be conservative. It doesn't have to be exactly 24 inches. I want it to fit on the splitter. So whether it's 23 and a quarter or 24 and an eighth, it's all right because that log splitter can actually fit 25 inches I measured. So if this saw was running right now, I would basically use that line to gauge where it is on the log. So I put my saw here and then I would turn it and I know right about here would be 24 inches. And then after I cut that log, let's try to get the shadow out of here. I know as soon as I cut this log that this log is going to be 24 inches or less. And then obviously as I work my way down the log, where my last cut left off, I'll do the same thing, same thing, same thing. Now that's one way to do it. Now where 24 inches and 30 inches matter is what I'll get to next. Alright, so let me show you guys. These two woodsheds are identical as far as square footage. So the reason I cut all my logs at 24 inches or about 30 is because whether it's 24 inches or 30 gives me a gap in between wood piles as you can see here the way the wood sheds are designed so I have one row here that's open on the sides that can get sunlight that can get air and then I have a crack in between which the wind will pass completely through and then same thing on uh, same thing on this side you can actually see light through there so anywhere from 24 inches to 30 inches is the firewood size I use for the outdoor wood broiler. Same thing on this side. This side's all exposed, get some sunlight, get some wind, same thing, wind and air going through the top of it, but it's protected from the elements. So that's why I cut my wood at 24 inches and about 30, 32 inches. Because these wood sheds, the way they're designed, can handle three rows all the way to the top with some space in between. Now, I just explained the 24 inches for the wood splitter. As you can see here, uh, let me back up a little bit. This log will need to be split 
in the two halves. But for a skinnier log like I just showed you, if you look at my chainsaw, there's a little black mark. There's a black mark there on the, the back half of it. That black line is 30 inches. So as I showed you, I can have three rows of 30 inches in my woodsheds or three rows of 24, it doesn't matter. But I use this line, same idea as using this as kind of like a bore site. I will use this line if I'm cutting stuff that doesn't need to be split to maximize, um, maximize use space in the woodsheds. Now there's also a second way I cut firewood or I measure firewood. That piece of painted strapping right there is 24 inches. So for example, if I wanted to pre-mark this log first and then cut it after, I could do that. So what I would do is, and I'll demonstrate in a second, is I would, I would take this piece of strapping that's 24 inches, hang it a little bit right over the edge there, get my, um, get my hatchet and make a mark. So let me put the camera back on the tripod and I'll demonstrate. And I know when I get my saw that that cut right there is 24 inches and I would just do a little bit of an overlap and same thing. So if we grab our handy dandy tape, string it along, yep, just shy 23 and a half. For this one, 23 and a half. I'll go, go this way so I can show you. Not one to fib it. Yep, 23 and a half for that one. All right, so it's hot out about 90, 94 degrees beginning of August, uh, just for the sake of the video when, when we're shooting. But um, that's how I do it. It works for me. Whether I want to mark the log prior and then just make cut, 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 or if I want to use the saw to kind of gauge it, um, it depends on what I want to do. So either way, you're still, unless you go left or you take three rights, you're going to get to the same place anyways, same point anyways. So um, I'm Jay. Uh, let me know how you guys cut your firewood, how you measure it, if you measure at all. I don't really need to measure, but I want to maximize space in my uh, woodsheds. So that's why, like I showed you, three rows of 30 inches will give me about a two inch buffer, two or three inch buffer between each row. So that's how I do it. It's efficient. It's worked. So if you guys have any comments or questions or tips, um, feel free to chime in. This is just a cheaper way, free way to do it. All you needed is a piece of strapping and not even a piece of strapping. You could just get a piece of a branch, something that's 20, a ruler or something that's 24 inches long paint it orange, trust me, so you won't lose it, uh, or use the saw. Like I said, you get to the same point at the end of the day. But I'm Jay. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll uh, see you next time.